welcome back queens and kings and thank you guys so much for watching as well as clicking on this video now we all in chlorotene and i decided to make a wall mural to go along with the tray that i did a while back as well as some candle holders tea light candle holders matter of fact and i'm using mostly dollar tree items which i am going to use a foam board for dollar tree i think these are eight by ten mirrors five by seven something like that I'm using four packs of Dollar Tree gems there. I'm using some butterflies that I recycled over from my previous DIY, as well as Dollar Tree little screen lights. And I'm using some hot glue and glue sticks as well as scissors. So here I have tucking out the mirrors out of the frames and I'm gonna glue them down to the foam board and I'm gonna glue them in a form of a square. So now that we have the mirrors all glued to the foam board, I'm just going to take my little towel, microfiber towel, try to get off some of the spider webs from the glue stick or whatever. And then I'm going to actually cut the foam board, the mirrors from the remain of the foam board. So which I have done in the back that came off the picture frames or the mirrors or whatever, I used those and I glued those on the back. Now, at first I thought I was just going to be able to hang it up like this, but later in the video, you guys will see that I do not hang it up that way so now here i'm taking my little screen lights and i actually left a like a gap in between the mirror and the foam board like you have like that little one inch mark of just hanging over so therefore it can make like a groove so the lights can actually fit up and around the entire mirror now if you make a mirror that is too big for these lights because remember these lights came from the dollar tree so they're not that very long but these was just perfect enough to go around the entire mirror but i think at least probably about two or three inches up left a space that wasn't that does not have lights but it's still gonna look good in the end and everything so we're just gonna make it work and make it do what it do so i'm gonna just continue doing that all the way around the mirror Okay, so now that we have done that, now this is the part where the gems come in place. Here I'm just going to do the same little method that you guys have seen me done plenty of time. Now, when it comes down to gluing these gems in between the mirror and the foam board and you see that we have the lights in there, once you come towards a light, you do not want to put too much glue because you don't want it to burn the wire or anything or clog up or fog up. The light so you still want the light to shine through the gems so basically that's what i am doing here putting some glue down a small amount of glue and i'll place a gem and i'm gonna continue doing that around the entire mirror Okay, so as you guys can see, she's turning out to be cute already. 
so pretty already so now we're going to move on to our butterflies here like i said before i have used these butterflies or were well, used some of them in a previous diy and i'm just going to use the ones that i do have left over and where i have some mirror butterflies and then i have the white ones that i did spray paint silver so i'm just going to figure out where i want to place them have the idea look that i want and basically go with the same look that i did for the tray Okay, so now that I have my butterflies in place where I want them to be, I'm going to use my bling wrap now. And I'm just going to cut this down to two strips. I believe that's what I'm using. And I'm going to do place them around the outline of the mirrors, basically in between the gaps of the butterflies. All right, my queens and kings, so here is my vanity mirror, side table mirror. I don't know. You call it whatever you want to call it. But I love the way that this look. I really do like the way this look. It came out better than I actually thought. And by putting the lights in there, it did just bring it up a little. Uh, just gave me that little pop or whatever that I was looking for. So I love the way that this butterfly mirror came out. Just gorgeous gorgeous so you can use this wherever in your home or you can make one entirely bigger than this to actually look fabulous it's all up to you but right now i have it in my bedroom just to showcase for you guys but this beautiful mirror is going to my friend i did make it for her so i totally love it what do you queens and kings think i think she's gonna love it what you guys think All right, queens and kings, so moving on to the last and final portion of this DIY. Here I'm taking some bling scripts, I'm cutting down two of them where I'm using two of Dollar Tree tea light candle holders and I'm gonna glue these two scripts of bling around the base or the handle of the candle holder, whatever you desire to call it. I'm gonna secure that just going around, not tightly like a loose um, wrap or so because I still want the glass to show through. Now, after I get through wrapping it around, I'm going to glue the rest and the remainder of my butterflies. I'm going to pick the ones that I want to put down on the tea light candle holders and make it like a 3D look. 
okay queens again so now we're going to take our butterflies and i'm going to start off with this bigger one here the mirror uh, reflection butterfly and i don't think i mentioned i got these years ago from family dollar they've just been in my little craft section so but i'm quite sure you could find some mirror butterflies at dollar tree because they do have some mirror decor as well as family dollar or dollar journal any type of um dollar store but anyways y'all yeah, like to take a moment and say forgive my hands i see how actually they are Honey, this chlorotene got us in here washing like we ain't never washed before and we forgetting to put lotion on because it don't make no sense to put none on if you're going to have to go back and wash your hands and take it off. But anyways, so this is the final look of my 3D butterfly tea light candle holders. Now, I love the way that these turned out. I also love the way these came out too. And I think she's going to love them as well. So I hope you queens and kings enjoy these two simple chlorotene DIYs that I came up with some scraps in decor that i had around my home if you all enjoyed this video please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up comment down below share the video and subscribe if you are a queen or king just stopping by and if you do consider to be a part please hit the post notification bell so therefore you don't miss out on another video by me with that being said queens and kings you guys continue to be safe wash your hands i love you guys and continue to be royal